Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the open source Datari I Restreamer application. It allows you to set up your own live streaming server on Linux. This will allow you to broadcast a live stream to multiple platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and more all at once. Also, you can live stream pre-recorded videos and loop video clips and audio. Step 1. Setting up the Linux server. First, you need a Linux VPS to host the Restreamer server. You can choose any server provider you like or check our blog to find a cheap VPS provider. Choose a Linux distribution that supports Docker, but I recommend Ubuntu. After that, connect your cloud server via an SSH client. Okay, let's download and install the latest stable build of Datari I Restreamer. Get root access using this command. Update the installed applications before the process. Next, you have to install Docker, use this automation command. Give administrators access to the Docker after installation. Now that we are ready to install Restreamer, use this command to install it. Okay, we finished the server-side installation process. Step 2, configuring the Restreamer GUI. Next, we can launch the Restreamer GUI using this URL. Check the blog post and remember to replace the IP address with your server IP address. When you go to the Restreamer for the first time, you have to create an admin account. It provides a default username and password. You can use them or change them into your credentials. Click Video Setup to proceed to configurations. You have several options to choose from. Click Advanced Setup to access more options. You can live stream a pre-recorded video or connect OBS output using the Network Source option. To connect a hardware device like an IP camera, choose the Hardware Device option. In the Loop option, you can set up 24-7 live streaming on multiple platforms. It will loop any video or audio file infinitely until you stop the live stream. We appreciate you all watching these free tutorials. Please like, subscribe, and share to support the channel so we can keep making more. Now back to the tutorial. Step 3. Live Stream Pre-Recorded Video Now we're ready to start a live stream with this open source platform. I am going to set up live streaming using a pre-recorded video on multiple platforms as an example. First, you need to upload your recorded video to a cloud storage service like Google Drive and then get the direct link to the video file. You can use this free tool for it. After that, click Network Source and paste the link. When you click the Probe button, it will check the source URL. In the next step, you can add a different audio source for the video. If you want to keep the original audio source of the video, don't change anything here. Now live streaming has started on the Restreamer server side. You need to add your streaming keys from YouTube, Facebook Live, and any other platforms you want to stream to all at once. For that, click the small plus icon here. There are many social media platforms to choose from. I am going to select Rumble and Twitch in this example. Here, add your live stream credentials, like the server URL and stream key. Next, I am going to add Twitch as well. Select the nearest location to your server and paste the stream key. Restreamer is broadcasting the video stream on Rumble and Twitch without any issues. And that's it. As you can see, setting up your own open source streaming server with Datari I Restreamer makes it easy to broadcast your live stream to multiple platforms all at once. If you have any issues with this tutorial, open a question on the Minex Tech Forum. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.